Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can use AWS to uh, run cron services. And uh, the feature I'm going to show today is a uh, newer one. Uh, you definitely can do cron jobs uh, before just using Lambda functions very easily, but now there's actually a feature meant for pinging an existing endpoint um, to trigger a, a cron job, basically. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm in the AWS console here, and uh, I'm gonna go to search here, or to services, and then I'm gonna look for a service called EventBridge. And EventBridge is not really the most logical name, I would say, but this is actually here where you do scheduled things inside AWS. So inside AWS, you can see we have the rules here, and here we can define some rules that we would like, and uh, we have been able to do this for a long time. So we can go in here, create a rule, and then schedule that rule. And uh, yeah, we can select a target here, and that could be a Lambda function, a way we have been able to do it for a long time. But if you're not creating any Lambda functions, if you are just pinging an endpoint, you can now do something called API destinations. And uh, I'm going to go to, on the integration here, on the left-hand side, to go to API integration, and I'm going to try to create one here, a new one. Okay, so I'm going to call this one uh, run cron job test. And uh, here you specify the endpoint. I am going to run a little test here that I have locally. So I have a Next.js project here running. And I have now forwarded my local environment to an ng-rock URL. So if you're not sure what ng-rock is, it's basically a tool for exposing your local environment to a public address. Okay. And uh, I'm going to grab this URL from here. And then I'm just going to put it right up here. Okay. And I'm going to choose an HTTP method. It's just going to be a get for me. And down here, I need to use an existing connection or create a new one. I'm just going to create a new one. And this one is going to be called cron job connection. And here, I'm going to choose what kind of authorization that I would like to use. So when you do this type of pinging an endpoint uh, way of running a cron job, uh, you, of course, need some kind of authorization. Otherwise, you may have bots pinging your endpoint, and that's no good. So that's why you can actually avoid using authorization type here. I'm going to choose username password. I do not have the it implemented in here. Like I'm not doing any validation, so I'm just going to choose yeah some different values here. Uh, I'm not going to bother too much right now about it, but. Make sure you set this up if you're going to use this in production, of course. Okay, when I'm done, I can press create. Uh, make sure I have a valid name here, so no spaces. Press create. Oh, same here. All right, now I should be able to create. All right, cool. That is my API destination here, run cron job test. Now I can go back to rules and I can create a new rule. And this is going to be test YouTube cron job. My rule here. Just put rule in the name. And then I'm going to choose schedule. And I'm just going to have this run run every minute just for a test, right? I can choose also to make a cron job expression, but this one just simplifies it. All right, so down here, instead of Lambda function, I am now going to choose API destination. And I'm going to use an existing one, run cron job test. And uh, yeah, everything else looks good. I'm just going to press create now. And uh, yeah, that should be it, actually. Now we can jump back to the code here. All right, so I actually need 
to change this URL up a bit. I just had the base ng rock URL here. I actually need to do slash API and then the path of the route that uh, you just saw. And since I'm using an existing project, I am under API test test underscore stripe. Okay. So if you have a fresh um, Next.js project, you won't have this uh, long path unless you choose to. But uh, I'm just going to update this and then make sure that's correct. And now we should be able to uh, receive messages on this route here every minute. All right. There was the first message here. Pinged my cron job. So that was came from AWS. Let's wait another minute to see if we get another. And there is another message. So uh, yeah, our cron job is working. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I hope this video was useful for you. If you are looking to set up a cron job and you're not working with lambdas and uh, you're already using AWS. All right, see you in the next one. Peace.